the people were amazed. You know, when he was cured, and it, it made a big difference because there was people saved and believed, and these were people that were Judy, uh, believed in Judaism. Uh, they were saved because of this man <coughs> being healed. Because Peter was obedient, many people turned to the Lord. That's why it's so important. If God tells you to do something, uh -huh. we need to do it. It may, it may seem like it's a small task, or sometimes it may seem silly to you why, why he wants you to do these things, but there is a reason for it. Uh, amen. We never know how we are affecting people who's watching us. Hey, Gary, uh, right there on the last part of that verse 24, he said, mm -hmm. also he says, he rose immediately. Yep. And immediately. He didn't waste, didn't waste no time. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. good. It shows, forth, it shows the experience of what we need to do. When God saves us, uh, we need to immediately get up and start living for Him. You know, uh, I get a little concerned about these people that get saved and you know they're just uh, wallowing around for a while. Not sure what they want to come to church or what they want to do. I think you need better <coughs> to go find your altar against someone else. You got a little bit short change. You sell completely sell out Amen. to Him. Amen. You make your mind up, people. I'm telling you, you, you can you can make it. You, you got your mind made up. And you're going to need it nowadays because uh, the world's pressing us every day. Uh, you, don't, you don't put your faith in economy or you don't put your faith in man. If you keep your eyes upon the Lord, Amen. as Brother Ronnie was saying earlier, he's, he, he's uh, never seen his seed bake for bread. Right. He'll take care of it. Uh, he'll take care of them birds outside, people. He'll take care of you. Yeah, right. But it's a conditional thing. God said, if you'll seek ye first right. the kingdom of God, and all these things, all this food, all this clothes, this raiment, all this stuff will be added unto you if you seek him first. Uh, some of us would like to put him back on a back burner somewhere or other and expect him to take care of us. Right. Uh, but we need to put him first in everything we do, whether it's our job. Uh, if you're retired, you still need to keep him first in your life. I don't necessarily mean, you know, you just laying down somewhere or another. There's, you can do, there's work for you to do too. I think about Brother Lee and, him, and Bobby and him going witnesses, doing things, talking to them. You call them on the phone, talk to them. I like what Peter, I was thinking about this this week. You know, Peter just wasn't one of those, and all the other disciples also, just wasn't one of them guys that stayed home and watched HBO all week and walked out and healed people. Right. <laughs> I mean, he didn't lay down the bars or, or, you know, just do all this stuff. There's work, people. If you want power of God, there's work to be done. You just don't walk outside and say, you know, uh, be healed. I believe you have, there's a life to be lived, and I believe Peter and them had to do some homework in order to get to where they was at. You know, they want that power to keep that power. You know, they had to do some things at nighttime. It just wasn't a daytime job for them, you know. They lived at 24-7. That's what we need to do, too. If you want to stay close to God, you want God's power in your life, yeah. We need oh, to do the same thing. Amen. Amen. You need to pray. Exercise. Exercise. Exactly. It's, I mean, you think about bodily exercise. If you want to build in muscles and, and, and beef, <coughs> beef yourself up, you're going to have to work out every day. Same way. Keep all that excess fat off of you. It's the same way spiritually. You're going to have to work out every day. Okay. Uh, keep all that excess garbage from sticking on to you. Spiritually, you have to do the same thing. Very important that as the days go on out and times get tougher, you need to put forth more effort to study, more effort to read, more effort to come to church. Now get yourself in there with God's people. And then brings us down here to Lydia. I think uh, or Tabitha, her name is also uh, Dorcas in the Greek, which means a deer or a roe or a hind, uh, which is a graceful, pleasant animal. And Based upon her life and her testimony, she was a graceful and a precious person. Uh, she had, uh, apparently she was pretty wealthy. And she spent her life taking care of the widows and the, the orphans and the, the poor people, making coats and garments for them. Uh, there's always something we can do. Uh, she didn't do this because she had to. 
She did this because it's what God gave her a job to do. And, uh, and uh, the proof, when she died, when those people held up those coats and those garments, so man, look, they weren't ashamed of what they, that this woman had done for them. They, they were very proud of what she had given them, the gifts and the work that she had done for them. Because you know, she was showing them. So they, you know, she made these for us. Uh, we miss this woman. We need this person. I mean, that's an awesome testimony to leave behind, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that you made such an impact on somebody that uh, your works were left behind to help some, uh, somebody else. She lived in this town of, that's of Joppa, which, if you remember, that was a very important seaport for Jerusalem, because that's where Jonah went to when he started running. He went down to Joppa, right. jumped on that boat. Uh, it's about 10 miles from where, from Lydia. So uh, those people down there had heard about this man being healed up there in, uh, in Lydia and said, hey, you know, I like how these people had faith. If they could heal that man, then hey, maybe we need to send for Peter, bring him down here, because they want, you know, they gotta have her all washed up and laid out to her for burial, but you don't see no more where they're talking about no funeral, no. So let's clean her up, let her up there and call for Peter. Uh, he done that for, for the man up there and lit up, hey, guess what? There's hope for us, he can do it down here with, with uh, Dorcas. I ain't gonna, uh, you got anything to say now, you better jump in. I'm not a, I won't pause too long for you. <laughs> so things about uh, Tabitha that we know, she was a disciple. She showed it by her faith. Uh, and she showed it by her good deeds and her good work. She had embraced the, the, you know, the faith of Jesus Christ. And she was you know, well known for what you know, service that she gave to the Lord. The Bible said, what, your faith without works is dead? Yeah. Uh, so she, she had some works that she put forth to, to show that she really believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. And he really done something for her. And when, the, when she died, they sent for Peter. Because, you know, they'd heard, they'd heard hey, man, let's get, let's get him down here and see what he can do. And uh, when Peter came in, I like this one. You know, Jesus did the same thing. Remember when Jairus, when he went to see Jairus' daughter? He put them all out. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. He didn't need those people in there distracting him. Mm -hmm. Peter done the same thing. Because back then, not, not, some of these people were, were legitimate mourners, but Back then, you could hire mourners. Yeah. If you didn't have anybody to cry for you, you'd go buy you a bunch of people. <laughs> some people probably, <laughs> you might know some people, they'd have to buy somebody to cry for you. Well, back then, you could. I guess you had a bunch of money. You could buy a bunch. I'm mean, I might get a job. I'm going to have to start that back up. <laughs> Ham Shield and him did pretty good at those Easter plays crying around. We might have <laughs> Well, first thing Peter done was he put them all out. He didn't need to be distracted with all this boo-hooing and, and people that really wasn't sincere about what was going on. Uh, he wanted just the people there that's, that's really serious about getting in touch with God. So when he, uh, he put them all out, and he, you notice that he